called. Continue. And the house was filled with smoke. And I said, woe is me, for I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphim to me, having on his hand a burning coal, which he had taken with tongs from the altar. And he touched my mouth and said, behold, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away and your sin forgiven. And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then I said, here am I, send me the word of the Lord. Thanks be Thank to God. God. And I believe Robert is going to lead us in the 20, in the psalm. We will stay the second half, the bit after the asterisk. Ascribe to the Lord, you gods. Ascribe, Ascribe to, the Lord, to the Lord, glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord, the glory due his name. Worship, Worship the Lord, Lord the beauty of holiness. Beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory and glory. The Lord is upon the, upon the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is a powerful voice. The voice, the of, the voice of the Lord is a voice of splendor. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar trees. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf. And Mount Hermon like a young wild, wild, wild ox. The voice of the Lord splits the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord, the Lord shakes, shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. Of Kadesh. Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the oak trees rise. And strips, and strips the forest, the forest, bare. forest bare. And in the temple of the Lord, all are crying, all are crying glory. glory. The Lord sits enthroned above the floods. The Lord sits, the Lord sits, sits enthroned, enthroned as King forevermore. forevermore. The Lord shall give strength to his people. The Lord, the Lord shall, shall give his people the blessing, the blessing of, of peace. peace. And the second reading, I believe, is from someone here. So then, you, if you speak up, you'll be picked up by this microphone. So then, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you will put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received the spirit of sonship. When we cry, Abba, Father, it is the Spirit himself bearing witness with our spirit that we are children of God, heirs of God, and fellow heirs with Christ, provided we suffer with him in order that we may also be glorified with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. May I borrow your sheep, please? A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. At that time, there was Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered him, truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born anew, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. 
Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born anew. The wind blows where it wills and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes or whither it goes. So it is with everyone who is. Nicodemus said to him, how can this be? Jesus answered him, are you a teacher of Israel and you do not understand this? Truly, truly, I say to you, we speak of what we know and bear witness to what we have seen, but you do not receive our testimony. If I told you earthly things and you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you heavenly things? No one has ascended into heaven, but he who descended from heaven, the son of man. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the son of man be lifted up that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God sent the son into the world, not to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Christ. Generally, I speak in a sermon for at least 50 or 60 minutes. And so I don't want to shortchange you on this occasion, Charlotte. You don't know it, but that's funny. <laughs> in today's gospel, Nicodemus asked the question, how can one be born anew? Well, we're about to witness it right here. That which is spirit is spirit. That which is flesh is flesh. Charlotte was born in the flesh 17 months ago. Is that right? 17 months ago. And she's about to be born anew today. The church of Christ is about to have a new member. Jesus' body on earth is about to have new feet in jellies. And, <laughs> and new hands and a new voice. A new voice, I'm told whose favorite word is no. <laughs> so we're not going to ask her questions today. In some Reformed Christian tradition, it is customary for adults to be baptized. In the Episcopal Church, the Anglican tradition, it is customary for infants to be baptized. Certainly adults can be as well. And if so, we ask them questions to answer for themselves. But if infants or toddly ish infantish types are being baptized we ask questions of their parents and godparents their sponsors in baptisms in baptism who make the promises for them hillary clinton when she was first lady of the united states said it takes a village to raise children i i think that was thinking too small and as i look around here and I see people from Indianapolis and Knoxville, Hong Kong, Japan, and Brisbane. It, it takes a world. It took a world to begin to grapple with this pandemic. It'll take a world full of people who love her. Wormy thing. <laughs> Who's now going walkabout. If that's cultural appropriation, I do apologize for all those down under. It will take all of you to raise her in her new life in Christ. And so I invite you, parents, godparents, grandparents, uncles, aunts, and cousins, into her life in Christ, which begins in this font today. Here ends the sermon. We continue with the service. In the prayer book on page 300 and one. You won't need the scripture sheet, so you can free your hands if you like. Now, the godparents, you'll use her Christian names, which are Shall you will you so. 
the candidate for holy baptism will now be presented. This is addressed to the parents and godparents. I present Shadrachai to receive the sacrament of baptism. This is addressed to the parents and godparents. Will you be responsible for seeing that the child you present is brought up in the Christian faith and life? I will. I didn't hear Hong Kong. I will. Excellent. Will you, by your prayers and witness, help this child to grow into the full stature of Christ? I will. I will. Do you renounce Satan and all the spiritual forces of wickedness that rebel against God? Don't worry. This is fun. They, they, they usually don't like this part. Do you renounce the evil powers of this world which corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? I renounce them. I renounce them. Do you renounce all sinful desires that draw you from the love of God? Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your savior? I do. Do you put your whole trust in his grace and love? I do. Do you promise to follow and obey him as your Lord? I do. And this is addressed to all. Will you who witness these vows do all in your power to support this person in her life in Christ? Let us join with she who is committing herself to Christ and renew our own baptismal covenant. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, communion of saints, of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Will you continue the apostles' teaching and fellowship in the breaking of bread and in the prayers? I will, I will with, with God's, God's help. help. Will you persevere in resisting evil and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord? I will, I will with, with God's, God's help. Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? I will, I will, I will with, with God's, God's help. help. Will you seek and serve Christ? Loving your neighbor as yourself. I will with God's help. Will you strive for and respect of every human being? I will, I will with, with God's, God's help. help. Let us now pray for this person who is to receive the sacrament of new birth. Deliver her, O Lord, from the way of sin and death. Lord, hear our Open prayer. her to your grace and truth. Lord, hear our prayer. Fill her with your life-giving spirit. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Keep her in the faith and communion of your holy church. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Teach her to love others in the power of the spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Send her into the world in witness to your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring her to the fullness of your peace and glory. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, O Lord, that all who are baptized into the death of your Son may live in the power of his and reigns now and forever. Amen. 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 Could you, let's see, could you hold the book so I can read it? Thank you. Right, that's perfect. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water. Over it, 
the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through it, you led the children of Israel out of their bondage in Egypt into the land of promise. In it, your son Jesus received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ, to lead us through his death and resurrection from the bondage of sin into everlasting life. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it, we are buried with Christ in his death. By it, we share in his resurrection. Through it, we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we bring into his fellowship those who come to him in faith, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now, we pray you. Now sanctify this water, we pray you. Now sanctify this water, we pray you. By the power of your Holy Spirit, all who are cleansed here from sin and born again may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ, our Savior. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be all honor and glory now and forever. Amen. Charlie. Hello, Charlotte. Oh. Charlie. Charlie, where's the water? Would you like some? Hello, dear. Water? It's okay. <laughs> Would you name this child, please? Charlotte. <laughs> Charlotte Audrey. Oh. I baptize thee. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well done, Charlie. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we thank you that by water and the Holy Spirit bestowed upon this your servant the forgiveness of sin and have raised her to new life, the new life of grace. Sustain her, O Lord, in your Holy Spirit. Give her an inquiring and discerning heart, the courage to will and to persevere, a spirit to know and to love you, and the gift of joy and wonder in all your works. Amen. Amen. Charlotte Audrey, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked as Christ's own forever. Amen. Let us welcome the newly baptized. This we all say. We receive you into the household of God. Confess the faith of Christ crucified. Proclaim his resurrection, his resurrection. Share, with share with us, us in his, in his eternal, eternal priesthood. My friends, the peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and also, also with you. Know. Let us greet the newly baptized and one another in the name of the Lord. Peace, Charlotte. Peace be with you. Peace, thank you. Peace. Peace. And one, one last item. Charlotte Audrey, receive the light of Christ. I'll put this in the hands of her godmother. I won't give an open flame to a one-year-old. In the Greek tradition, what's actually lovely is they bring the lit candle to communion every time the child comes to church and they make a big, they decorate it up. Mothers go crazy. So I invite you to make your own tradition around her candle. <laughs> 